So the question is, can a Harbor Freight right angle drill power a bicycle? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it on there and we'll find out. A couple other parts that I got that I think are gonna make this a little bit nicer. I've seen some other videos where people have put drills on these bikes and they work, but there's a couple things I wanna do differently. And one of those is I wanna be able to pedal and use the right angle drill. The other thing I've noticed is they don't make it to where you can coast. So what I've also seen people try is they put a drill on the back here and they run the chain from the drill down to the same sprocket that the bike uses here, the different gears here. And yes, that is a freewheel sprocket. So it can allow you to coast with the drill on there. But the problem with that is, is that if you're pedaling, you're spinning the drill when it's not supposed to be spun. But the other thing with that is, is when you're engaging your motor, you're spinning this sprocket, which this chain is attached to, and therefore the pedals have to spin. So I've seen where people have removed the pedals because of that, and I've seen where people just take their feet off the pedals, and I don't like that. I want to be able to use pedaling, and I want to be able to use this motor together in order to get the best performance I can get. That's why you got this part here. This is actually a part that's meant for e-bikes and like conversions. It's got a 10 millimeter keyed hole here in the middle or bore. And what that does is they put this on the motor. And so when your motor is turning, it can, it engages and the sprocket turns. But if your motor stops turning and you're still rolling forward, it'll allow you to coast. So you can hear the clicking. It kind of sounds like a bicycle uh, freewheel. Essentially, what I'm trying to accomplish is what they call pedal assist. And so I can run this motor and I can pedal and they're not gonna interfere with each other. Go ahead and thread this to half inch by 20 fine threads and I'm going to thread this on there I experimented around with some different positions on where to put the drill. Each one presented a different problem as far as where the chain was going to hit the frame of the bike or the crank arm for the pedals. So I ended up settling somewhere right about here and that gave me a clear path for the chain. And then I had to make these metal brackets that will be welded to the bicycle frame and will fit the outside casing of the right angle drill and it'll keep it in place because when you put a lot of torque on it, it not only wants to move around on you but it also wants to twist because there's a lot of pressure on it to move this 26 inch rear wheel and especially when there's a person on the bicycle.
I think the next step is to take it down the road and see how fast it can go. Alright, this is pretty slow. So it looks like with no pedaling, 11. 12, 11, we'll just call it 11 miles per hour. So after I shifted the drill into the second gear and tried to see how fast it could go with it in that speed, it kept on cutting out. It would stay engaged for a few seconds and the bike would go pretty fast, but it wouldn't stay engaged. There's like a sensor in the drill or something that once it's pushed to a certain point, it trips it and you have to let off the throttle and then re-engage. And it was really annoying and I just kind of gave up on it. But speed one on the drill has plenty of torque, doesn't kick off at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the 60 tooth sprocket off, put a 44 tooth sprocket on the rear, and then I'm gonna see what it will do in speed one on the drill and see if I can bring up that top speed. 